Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video I am going to show you my makeup organization and storage. I recently moved and I got new furniture and I kind of have all my makeup in one place now. So I'm going to show you in this video kind of where I keep it all which is not that original but also you can kind of see all the makeup that I own and what I keep in storage and what I keep in like my everyday vanity so if you want to see all of the makeup that I own then just keep watching this video okay so here are the Alex drawers and if you haven't seen them they are just a huge set of drawers nine drawers all the way up and down there are five small drawers and four big drawers and they're just white and they're awesome so yeah this is what they look like and it just fits nicely in the corner of my room Okay, so this is what we have on the top. I have like pictures and some candles, but I'm thinking of putting a plant um, behind there. But I have my little mini perfume collection that's just on this glass tray. So I have the Tom Ford Velvet Orchid. I have a mini C by Chloe. I have a mini Black Opium. I have a Beach Walk Rollerball by Replica, which is almost out really, but um, I wanted to buy the big bottle of that. I have Nest Midnight Fleur, which I'm three quarters of the way through, and Nest Black Tulip, which is my new favorite perfume, like pretty much of all time. I love that one so much. Half my collection I lost in LA, long story, so this is what I have here. Okay, so this is what the first drawer looks like, and basically it is all face products, and apparently a 25 gallon, <laughs> this is not sponsored. Uh, I guess I just put this in here because I figured what safer place in my house and my makeup drawer. Okay, let's just put that up there. So here I have primers like the NYX Angel Veil, the Sephora Beauty Amplifier, um, Smashbox Primer Oil, this is the Estee Lauder like pour, what is this, pour vanishing stick, I don't really use that. Um, I have a Becca highlighter, that doesn't really belong there. Whoopsies. I have like foundation, so the Tarte, I have Cover FX, L'Oreal Pro Glow, which I love. I have the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk, which is like about four years old, so it needs to be thrown out for sure. The Makeup Forever Ultra HD stick that I love and my favorite that I just wear most of the time is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. Perfect. And then in the back I have two of the Urban Decay Naked Skin. Again, these are about three years old so I tried them the other day and they've lost the consistency so I probably should just throw those out. The BB Cream by Physicians Formula. Um, don't love it but I have it. This is the my favorite Makeup Forever water blend. It's it's pretty much it is empty. I need to replace that. Over here I have Rimmel Stay Matte. I don't really use that that often. I also have Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer and the Mac Studio Fix powder, which I really never use, but there it is. So that's the first drawer. Okay, so this drawer is all like highlighters, bronzers, blushes. So like everything for your face that's like adding color. So this doesn't belong here, this belongs there. So this first box is all Hourglass products. So this is the strobe palette, or the strobe powder. This is a blush. I have two ambient lighting powders. I think they're in diffused heat and luminous, not diffused heat. Diffuse Light and Luminous Light. Then I also have two palettes. This is just the regular ambient lighting palette. And then I also have the ambient lighting blush palette. This one came out a couple years ago. So that's that drawer. In this drawer, which I should add this to it, is cream products. So I have like the two, I have two Jouer highlights. I have the Becca one. I have the Do The Hula by Becca. This is a contouring stick by NARS in Altai. Maybelline highlighting stick. This is a NARS matte multiple. It's a really pretty like bronzy pink color and this is in the Poly Coast. Tarte Natural Beauty Cheek Stain. I have the Makeup Forever Pro Palette, like sculpting palette. And I have two of the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops. I have 
Moonlight or Moonstone and, oh, this one's Moonlight. This one's Sunkiss, this one's the bronzer, and this one's the highlighter. So I love those. Let's just move this out of the way. This is bronzers and blushes. So I have the Solar Powder. I have, this is Captivating by Tarte. I have a random NYX one in the shade Moving Out. Moving Out. This is Urban Decay Rapture. It's like a cool purple color. I have Benefit Hula. I have Benefit Dallas. This is Laura Mercier Ritual, Ritual, which I love for the summer. I have NARS Laguna, which I need to buy a new one of. You look at that nasty thing. NARS Frenzy Duo Blush Highlight. Physicians Formula Butter Blush. Don't really like this one. And then I have two um, Makeup Geek blushes. Slide that on in. And this one is all highlighters. So I have a ColourPop one. I have, this is Champagne Pop, I'm pretty sure. Yep, well loved. Ofra, You Do You. I don't really wear that one that much. The Bomb Mary Luminizer. I love this thing. I'll probably just like never throw it out. NYX Strobe of Genius. I love this palette. It's great. Um, this one I love too. Oh my God, I love all this stuff. It's a really pared down collection for me. This is the Makeup Forever number two highlighter. ColourPop uh, Butterfly Beach. This one's a bit too dark for me. Laura Geller Gilded Honey. Everyone was obsessed with that one for a while. Then I have some Becca blushes. This is in Sweet Pea, just like a neutral blush. This one's in Songbird, which is an awesome orangey bronze shade for the summer. And then I have a sample of the Becca Rose Gold highlight, which I actually love, but I like that I have a small one of it because I don't use it that much. So those are highlighters. Next is all about eyes. So that's pretty much it. Here I have all eyeliners and cream eyeshadow pencils, although I should split them up a little bit more organized. I have an eyelash curler, a mascara. So yeah, I have like, what do I have? I have some Makeup Forever cream eyeshadow sticks. I have some Charlotte Tilbury cream eyeshadow sticks. I have some NYX eyeliners and brow pencils. Sephora cream eyeshadow sticks. NYX cream eyeshadow sticks. Uh, nude sticks, I love those ones too. Um, some ColourPop eyeliners, lots of NYX eyeliners, Marc Jacobs, Urban Decay, Anastasia Brow Definer, so it's kind of everything in there. And then this back one has all Makeup Geek eyeliners, so I should probably organize it eyeliners and then cream eyeshadow sticks, so I might do that actually, that makes more sense. And then over here are like little palettes and single eyeshadows, so Charlotte Tilbury Dolce Vita palette, which I love. Lorac Pro Matte, Naked Basics, everyone should have this one. This is a Lorac Pro Mini, I was obsessed with this for a while. And some of my favorite eyeshadows, so MAC Uninterrupted, this pukey orange color here. This one is Pale Barley by Burberry, another one of my favorite eyeshadows ever. NARS Dion, which is like a cool silver. Um, I don't love these shadows, but you know. A couple MAC Paint Pots. Uh, Maybelline Color Tattoo, probably too old. Pure Eye Polish. This is another Burberry eyeshadow in khaki. This is a MAC, what is this, Sweet Heat. I don't know why I just have this random MAC single. And then this is Ardency in Peacock, which is just a really cool green color. And then in the back, I have all of my pigments and glitters. So tons of MAC glitters as well as MAC pigments. I have the MAC Mixing Medium. I have a lot of NYX glitters, which I love. I have an eyelash glue, um, MAC Vanilla Pigment, MAC Heritage Rouge. What is this? Yeah, Heritage Rouge. Some Makeup Geek uh, Loose Pigments, which I love as well. These are super awesome too. So that's kind of my glitter and fun stuff collection. Okay, so now we are into lips, and lips actually take up two drawers. So yeah. Here I have all my lip liners as well as any kind of like chubby pencils. So like the NARS lip pencils, the Bite Beauty lip pencils. Um, that's pretty much it, NARS and Bite Beauty. And then I have a lot of MAC, lip liners, Ofra, Makeup Forever, so all those lip liners. And then here I have all my MAC lipsticks. I have done a video on all my, my entire MAC lipstick collection, so um, I'll be sure to link that down below. Here I have all liquid lipsticks, but they're all of a neutral 
variety. So as you can tell here, like they're all just like nudes or like pinks or anything like that. So I've got like Too Faced, Kat Von D, Colourpop, Anastasia, Tarte, Dose of Colors, like lots of Ofra, um, Too Faced, NYX. So yeah, that's kind of like just all my neutral liquid lipsticks, which I love. In here are all my glosses, and I actually don't have a lot of glosses. I'm not really a gloss girl, and most of them are um, nudes. But uh, yeah, some of my nudes like NARS, um, Sephora, By Beauty I love, Buxom I love. I have the Lancome um, shake, Juicy Shaker, YSL Tint and Oil I love. So yeah, one, one or two MAC lip glosses. I used to get those all the time, but they just go bad, and I don't really use them, and this one seems to be leaking. Perfect. So those are lip glosses. Okay, so again, more lipsticks. So in this one, I have all of my Bite Beauty lipsticks, which I love, the Amuse Bouche ones. This is the custom one I made. They put little lipsticks on it, which is super cute. This is just like a really cool brick red shade that I created with them by myself. These are all liquid lipsticks, but the bright. So a lot of Too Faced, a lot more Kat Von D, some of the Sephora brand ones. Um, what other fun colors like Ofra? These are all just like crazy colors. I got some NYX, I got the Kylie Jenner, some Jouer like glitter toppers, just some fun um, Kat Von D colors. So that's kind of it for that. Now the back's kind of random. In here I have more like, oh, let's just go over there. These are more like uh, lip balms, like tinted lip balms, stuff like that. So like a lot of the fresh sugar ones. These are the Tarte, I don't know what these are called. Lip Rescue, these are cute. Um, sun Bum, sunscreen for your lips, stuff like that. And then in the back here, it's just random lipsticks. So like not MAC, and I don't really know where to put them. Like I've got Clinique, uh, Dior, the NARS Audacious, which I love. Um, some ColourPop, Lippy Pencils, Lise Watche, Bobbi Brown, Urban Decay, and Essence. So it's kind of it for that. Okay, are you guys still with me? This is the eyeshadow palette drawer. Now just look at this thing, it's crazy. So I think I'm gonna do a separate video showing my entire eyeshadow palette collection because I have like Urban Decay, I have my own like Z palettes of blushes. Um, this is a highlighting palette, but like there's Morphe, there's Kat Von D, um, more Kat Von D, Urban Decay ones, Too Faced ones, so yeah, if you want to see my entire eyeshadow palette collection, then just let me know. But that's kind of how I have them all shoved in. And it's kind of like I can't buy any more. They have to fit in that drawer, and that's final. Okay, so this last drawer is a little bit um, random, but um, let's try to go through it. So I have all these nail polishes here. I mostly have Formula X by Sephora and Nails Ink. Those are kind of my favorite. These are all Sephora Nails Formula X, just like minis. Um, I do have a couple Essies because those are, those are good, but they usually chip. Um, one Wet n Wild, and that's about it. On this side is all like nail tools. So I have pure acetone. I have like the Formula X um, like base coat, top coat. I have the out the door quick dry top coat. I have a nail file, a buffing thing clippers, some cuticle cream, uh, hand cream. So that's kind of like the manicure zone. This is, let's see what's in here. Oh, so many extra brushes that I don't actually know what to do with. So I need to declutter my brushes, that is for sure. So those stay in there. Then further back, I have my entire Ofra liquid lipstick collection. This is all full. Um, I have like 42 of them or something, I love them, I love like every single color, so I just keep these all in one spot so I know where they are. This is a Sephora Z palette that I just have random stuff in. I don't really know what's in there. Then I have a Z palette full of the Makeup Forever eyeshadows, so like those need a home as well, so I gotta clear out some of my other eyeshadow palettes. Then back here I have all of my ColourPop eyeshadows because again, they're kind of hard to store so I keep them in their own container because I don't really know where else to put them. So that's that drawer. And these are like the bigger drawers, right? Okay, so then this drawer is all like mostly hair care products with a couple body care products. Um, so all just that stuff that, I don't like to keep this stuff in the bathroom, I like to keep it here. So I have like a mousse, 
I have Batiste Dry Shampoo. This is the Loving Tan Bronze Shimmer Cream. I have, what is this? Self Tanner from Tarte. Um, some hairspray, some plat um, heat spray. This is a uh, leg makeup. This is the Unite uh, Leave-In Conditioner. I have some sunscreen, and this shouldn't be in here. This is a curling rod. This should be in the next drawer. So yeah, this is all just random like hair products and stuff like that. And the last drawer is all of my hair tools. So I have a blow dryer, like a tangle teaser. I've got the GHD flat iron. I also have a Numi flat iron. Um, this is makeup brushes. I really need to go through those. I have another uh, wand and then I have uh, my Numi wand different sizes. So those are kind of where all that lives. And I have like a teasing brush and the tangle teaser and stuff like that. So yeah, those live in the bottom drawer if it'll shut. Ta-da! And that is everything. I really hope you guys like this video and this is everything that I keep in my Alex drawers. Bye! This is my weird wave. Bye! <laughs> As always, click right here, a video will pop up and you continue to watch all my videos all day long. Also click my face to subscribe to stay up to date. I post one video a week and you don't want to miss a thing. See you in my next one. Bye guys.